The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm the host of today's webinar. My name is Karen Mann, and I have my team with us. Uh, there is Sedita, our co-chair webinar, Brooks, division chair-elect, uh, Marlene Johnson, our secretary, Deepak, that will also be helping us with the webinar. We represent Human Development and Leadership Division of American Society of Quality. That is a global division aiming to enrich the personal and professional lives of our members and non-members, the global community to trump over current and future challenges. We continuously look for new speakers within the range of our body of knowledge, which can be found on our website. We host monthly webinars. If you are interested or if you know anyone that is interested, we would be happy to review their application. The Book of Knowledge can be found on our website, and the link is also available in the chat box, www.asqhdnl.org. Before we begin this webinar, let me go over the housekeeping and some webinar rules. If there is any question, please type your question in the question section and we will be gladly happy to help you answer the questions. Webinar will be held for 45 minutes and then a questionnaire for 15 minutes. If you want continuing education credit for 0.1 CEU, you have to be on the webinar for at least 40 minutes. You will receive an email from us which you can save as PDF and send it to ASQ for your claiming the credits. So let me introduce you to the speaker of the day. Jesus Gilberto is the Global Chair of Human Development and Le Leadership Division and a fellow of ASQ. He's very actively doing research related to science, management, and leadership. He has published many papers and given conferences in ASQ, congresses, and around the world. Gilberto, the floor is all yours. Thank you very much, and uh, buenas noches. Good evening, everybody. And nice to have you back here. You are the great, because uh, usually they say second parts are not good, but I promise that would be better than the one before. Uh, thank you to be with us and appreciate all of you. Thank you very much again. Uh, remember, my name is Gilberto, Jesus Gilberto Concepcion Garcia, uh, family name Concepcion Garcia. I have to use it because of free reason. And I am located in beautiful Dominican Republic, in Santo Domingo City, the capital city of the Dominican Republic. And so here is where well, I am. I hope we have people from all around the world. And uh, from our last seminar, we have the uh, the our objectives what was basic uh, the first one was uh, the introduction to understand science and symmetry and today we are going to be i'm going to do a little bit of very fast review about uh, last webinar but we're going to have a lot of uh, talking about the results and what with our experimental data so that we can understand a little bit better what is our well-being uh, then at the end i uh, will give some some recommendations on how you can increase uh, your well-being. And we're going to do something lately because there is a book that came uh, from Latin America, but it's a Japanese new technique called Ikigai. And you will see how that technique is similar to what we are doing. Of course, so remember that now we are in the age, the age of the super age is a young brain inside an old body. And this is uh, the place to be if you want to keep your, bo your brain in shape. And this is a living a life to keep your brain always young. Living a life to keep your brain always young and increase your potential of success. Uh, you remember that we talked a little bit about uh, do we have the necessary talent in order to have a potential to success. And that comes from uh, a book, uh, a talent overrated by, by Colvin, uh, that was in 2008, uh, where he says that you have to have knowledge. 
So yeah, you have to understand. Then he talks about the 10 hours, 10,000 hour practice. I goes, hey, you have to know yourself and other people and you have to have passion, all that. But uh, I don't think that we want to wait for 10,000 hours to practice, to get uh, the talent uh, that we need in order to improve our management, leadership, our well-being, whatever you want. Um, uh, but you have to practice and you have to, if you have the right connection in the brain, you can, that 10,000 hour, I promise you can do it in months. Also, I, the potential of success, when I talk uh, uh, late in the webinar, where I first webinar, I say, look, uh, you have to have a very symmetrical horizontal transition in the brain that I call this the high velocity uh, transition. Uh, it's not the high velocity, it's the, it's the symmetrical one because the velocity will be more or less the same. But the symmetry is what dictates the, the velocity. And when you have the horizontal symmetry goes, this, the distance is probably, uh, we see is, the distance is smaller, so we go faster uh, in between the right and left part of the brain. And, for that is when you have really what I call the entrepreneur, dynamic, symmetric, fast thinking. And if you have that, if you can understand what is that type of symmetry and the new technology, I promise that you will be better, better off in the times to come. Then if you're still in the a slower part, or I call the social, you better change. And let me tell you, only 5% of the people are in the higher horizontal transition uh, using the front part of the brain. But also, this is uh, uh, interesting, is that the two sides, the two hemispheres are connected by the corpus callosum. And I say that is like in the equator if we're talking about the earth. And musicians uh, is uh, from a story done in Harvard by Gottfried Sloan. Uh, says that, or they demonstrate that the corpus callosus is 25%, 25% bigger than normal people. But also they found that, that the, the corpus callosus start increasing when you are a kid, uh, nine to 11 years old, and you are practicing two hours per day. In two or three uh, years, they have also developed the corpus callosus. But I can show you and demonstrate later that also if you practice and practice uh, in order to keep uh, the symmetry in the brain, you might have a bigger uh, corpus callosum. And I'm going to show through some electroencephalograms how, how you will see the brain uh, working. Then uh, for more than 40 years of research, uh, thinking on all that, I have developed a, a a system that I call Dynamic 16 Evaluations uh, and, uh, in Spanish, and that is Sistemas de Evaluaciones Dinámicas. It means set, you are thirsty. You have to have thirsty and you need something to fill that water that goes to the brain. And from that, I say we can obtain a relation of the interrelations and transition of different intelligence. What I say, the intelligence is the capital that you have in the brain. And also I can do it in a personal level, then I can mix all like in, in a department. And also I can see the mix in the whole organizations. And you will see some results of that. That was also from the first part of the seminar. This is a going all around when I talk about the, the science that the dynamic intelligence, that basically we go to the dynamic intelligence are analytical, practical, social, and creative. And it's like in, in the in the demi cycle, plan, do, check, act. Huh? Plan, do, check, act. In that, uh, what we have found, uh, if you go to also to the science and course, you can have the same thing, okay? And remember, I said, look, when you have that part that will be the front part of the brain, 
the analytical and creative part. And this is a combination. It's not equal. All four states is about 30%, 30%, 20%, 20%. And that will be the binomial combina linear combination of an equation. And uh, we said that if you are too analytical, that uh, what we say the, tra the traditional, or you are too practical, many people is there, or you are too stable, you are balanced, hmm? or you are spontaneous, if you are too creative and social, and then if you are entrepreneur. And when most of the people that have this transition, that is what we call non-permitted. It's not that it's not permitted, it's a, that the possibility are a little bit lower. And from that point, uh, also we say, look, this is the real combination, the binomial combination. And if you explain in terms of the brain, you we have the first level, the second level, third level, and fourth level. And what we found is that people that is in the second and third level are people that usually have the leadership and management possibilities. And it's a, because in there, that will be the equator line, that will be the zero energy. So in that, that zero is, is a changing from, let's put it in this way, uh, changing from negative to positive, put it in that way, the zero, and then you go, but that will be the theta, delta, theta, alpha, and beta level of energy. There is another energy in the brain that is the gamma, but it's too high. And it, we can have the same more or less pattern of, of the beta. And you can see the transition. If you are, uh, this is the horizontal transition in the third level. And this is what we call uh, the practical. That is this transition because of the, this, those, those positive, positive, negative, those are the values of the coefficient that is that uh, really shows the, the symmetry. And those are values of, of, of energy if we, go, if we want to check on quantum mechanics and, and the velocity. And these two, one, two, those are the fast velocity sinking. And Remember, B, P, Q, D. I will say, what is the relation? Which was the best combination? You have to go all around because if you go from B to Q, uh, you have two, state, two steps. And rules of quantum mechanics says you have to go step by step, step by step. This is uh, more or less uh, the same thing. And when you say, look, this is the analytical, the practical, the social, and the creative. And this is the high velocity where we want to be. And also from the soup of words that we said uh, in, in the last, you can have all that combination. One, and that was from the last uh, seminar, webinar. And this is a, a, a system that we developed. We took some of these from reading many, many uh, psychological tests. And uh, we put it uh, that you can do this uh, and you can feel this. Uh, what is, uh, let's go in the first, the uh, first choice here. Uh, what is your first choice? Analytical, what is your second choice? Then whatever it is, and you can fill that up, all that out. And um, from that, uh, we make all the calculations and that is what I'm going to explain from now on. You can do that in, and I promise all of you, if you fill that out and send it to me, 
I will send back to you an evaluation of the people that is in our seminar today, because for you are the greatest. You are the one that came from the first seminar, webinar. Okay, this is a gift that I give it to you free. And then let's say that you did it. Uh, you fill the the questionnaire. What we have found that people remember red, yellow, analytical, creative, the first choice, analytical, creative, the first choice. We talk about the entrepreneur. Those people that have two entrepreneurs, okay? This one, I have analyzed at least about 40,000 to 50,000 different people. And we found that less than 5% of the people is the the one that really have that pattern and we have found that in business people and politicians and scientists employees sport men and women in education leaders and managers okay it's all around the thing is that like uh, from good to great in his book uh, says uh, you have the boss full of people. The good thing is to get the right people inside that booth, okay? If you want to have success. And in these are two uh, two examples. That, that lady uh, was a, per a person that came to a, a, one of those uh, industry I have been being a consultant and I start from the beginning. And now she is the by the time I left that, she was uh, the best-selling person. This is another one that came from the beginning. Remember, I saw that leg, that, that, that person coming in <laughs> almost without shoes. He was a, a bellboy. From the bellboy, he went up to be the marketing manager of the biggest plant, paint, uh, plan in the Dominican, painter plan in the Dominican Republic. Huh? How do you like? Then he started his own business and was the person that buy all, almost all what that industry made. And from that we have a lot of, and today we'll, we'll have, I'm going to show you some example, real sample of last week. Because in here I have an example of same model, this lady, was three times gold medalist in the Pan American high jump. I... And this man is the best tennis player that we have in the Dominican Republic. In the last five years, he has been in the top, top 100 players. And last Monday, ladies and gentlemen, this man, whose name is Victor Estrella, played in the Australian Open against Rafael Nadal, number one. I don't know if he lost, but <laughs> is that not a world class person? And that was our last Friday. This man, his name is, I'm going to write about him, it's a very nice story. And Vioric Sanchez, I call that from very low to great. He is starting another company as a janitor. But he came uh, the first day with white shoes, white pants, white shirt. I said, but well, you're going to be a janitor. He says, but I have a vision that I'm going to be great. Everybody was laughing. But he stayed for two years uh, as a janitor. Then he came to the painting section. It was a pharmaceutical industry. Then he went to elaborate uh, all the arts uh, for uh, in in the manufacturing uh, process, we saw that the guy uh, has a very disposition and everybody liked it. So we offered him a position as a marketing. Last Friday, three years later, I remember talking with the uh, human resources lady. 
He told me, but his guy doesn't speak to what he says. Yeah, you have to educate. He has the talent. But then, three, last Friday, I was be was able to him uh, to be with him because he was the best marketing manager in that company. Those people with this model. That's what I call very fast thinking. And I have a model that if you have this, uh, you got a four point. In that you got four point. If you mix those two together and give you the same, you have four point. That twelve. If you have that velocity. I give you four points, so you have 16 points in my scale. And now, in those per person that we analyze, we give a scale from more or less four to to 16. And people with very potential of success are those people that, that are in the top 30 to 16. And probably you will say, oh, that's nice. Is that is that true? Are you talking? And I decided that I was going, was doing in my research uh, electroencephalogram. And in here, I demonstrate with myself what happens when you do exercise. Those are the four levels of the brain. I am doing here jumping, and I was here push up. This is a resistant exercise. And here is how the brains look. He is a defer. When I start jumping, okay, he will go to the second. See how the brain says it gets a like it. It's not a energy, it's getting the energy. The second level, then to the third level, then we go. Now we go to the uh, four level. Gilberto, sorry, I interrupted the webinar for a second we have too much noise going on in the background if there is a way to find some uh, quieter space please yes uh, everything is fixed uh, then if we go to the four level then you got all the energy in the four and this is very important. This is very important. And you know what happened when you finish, then it goes back. But when you do a resistant exercise, the brain takes longer time that we, if you do just a running. And that is why they say, look, resistant exercise is better for fat loss. In here, I was talking once in Mexico, and somebody told me, Gilberto, you have to show, show that what you do is a cause or a causal effect. This is, and what we do is we put a resistant heating in the forebrain uh, arm of a person, 49, he say, a very published uh, uh, experiment. And what we found is some people, when they say, I don't feel too much heat, are those people that are close to the equator in between the second and the third level of the brain. And we were able to measure that. And when people say, I feel a lot of, a lot of heat, I feel a lot of heat, then what we have is those people were using all the energy. And in here is a person that says, I feel very little. I feel very little. And this is an entrepreneurial person. You see now that the brain, it's not that it's working. Uh, it's that the way they work is, is in the second level or third level here. It's very clear of energy. And this is in the brain. Uh, to finish this part is a was a year ago uh, they made me for some reason uh, using an old uh, electroencephalogram what they show at my age that I was in the third level the leadership level where I was a, a symmetrical brain doesn't matter how we make it and this is uh, the experiment we say if you feel 
little heat, if you feel a lot of heat, it's the same thing when we say a little heat is similar to our horizontal, the entrepreneurial way of thinking. And this shows that the relation is a really a, a cause effect. Uh, this is, that relation is, is linear. Then uh, let's go now to talk about uh, more people. It happens that I'm going to talk about the human development a leadership division where I have been uh, very active with uh, my friends uh, for more than 10 years. And this is a research we did in our leading team in 2010, okay, 2010. And we say, ah, you have a very fast 1.7 velocity of thinking and you were close to 12. And all the transitions are permitted. There is no one crossing uh, very uh, from the first to the third level or from the second to the fourth level. So this is uh, was very interesting. What happened was that we keep doing our training and by in between ourselves, six years later, we have more or less the same velocity, but look at the way this improved from 11.7 to 12.9. 100% of symmetry permitted. And what we found is that our division, the Human Development and Leadership Division, was selected one of the best uh, division in ASQ. And our system last year was selected as one of the best projects, innovation projects by ASQ. All, uh, all what I'm showing is increasing. Are you hearing me? Sorry, Gilberto, it was me announcing that you have uh, 15 minutes to go, and please be aware of the noise on the background if you can. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no, no, you cut off for a minute, but then you came back. Yes. I am back. Can you hear me? Then what I think is uh, uh, we have a bunch of uh, different people. We have a heterogeneous thinking pattern but uh, we have a symmetry permitted uh, people. And what I have found is that when you have non-permitted transition, we have found that that person of non-permitted transition can help to better understand loyalty and compromise condition because those people usually are less loyal and then less, and less compromise. Uh, also, we did a uh, another research using the uh, the, L, uh, the, the uh, I was asked by SQ to develop a LMC in the Dominican Republic, and that was the way that we choose the leadership team. And this leadership team looks like the human development and leadership division in the early beginning in the 210. And this group is working and very nice so nice that i probably will dedicate more time to the human development and leadership division than, than to the lmc uh, to see this and not only in asq i try to show that this system that we are using um, is a uh, similar in or do the same results uh, anywhere. This is a chemistry. This is look the chemistry pattern using the seat of the system. And this pattern, look how similar it is, is using uh, a method of Herman. Herman developed something very similar, uh, or 
take longer time and they haven't been able to show the relation in the brain, but it's the same thing. And this, when you do the component, the confidence is a 97% confidence. It's similar. This is worldwide. Those were four year of chemistry student. Okay, let's get now to the last part of this seminar. From common people to well-being person with positive attitude. And what I said is, remember, the analytical, practical, social, creative, the same thing. Because you have to start and remember, we want to have a young brain. You have to start eating balanced food diet. You have to do it. This is the practice. You have to do exercise directed to increase brain coordination. I'm going to show you that. Then you have to hear music of the proper quantum energy to re uh, help others. And this proper quantum energy is of the second or third level uh, of energy. And this second, that is why some people doesn't like to talk about uh, Mozart music. But most of, music is, most, of, most of the music is in the second level of energy. And then I said, look, you have to understand your pattern. What is the coordination? What is the, uh, the mix, the binomial uh, development of the analytical, practical, social, and creative? You have to understand how it is and how you can now, using all your knowledge, you can be using the front part of the brain. And this is uh, what I, uh, when I wrote uh, on the equator leadership in 1909, 2009, I said, look, you have to use, learn to use your both hands. You have to do asymmetric training. When you do asymmetric training, you have to train the whole body. It's not, some, some, sometimes you see people like with big arms. Uh, no, you have to look at equilibrium. You have to walk at different velocities. If you walk every day, don't walk at one velocity. Change the velocity pattern. I wrote a paper in the, uh, our human element, element uh, newsletter where I show that if you can walk 30 seconds very fast, 30 seconds slower, and keep going that, for just 10 minutes, you burn more fat than if you do it 10 minutes of jogging or 10 minutes of walking. Jump ropes. I learned at 60 years old how to jump rope, so you can do it. Train like a boxer, and I'm going to show you how a boxer train. Play any musical instrument if you can. Play chess. Play in any mental game. Please, every day say good morning, please, and thank you. Those are three magic words. And if you learn how to do that, that would be fantastic. If you don't believe me, I train like a boxer. I don't fight, but I train. Uh, how to use my two hands, jump ropes. Then I go to the rope up for my resistance training. I have been using a Fitbit in the last year. And uh, using this, I have been able to decrease my resting heat, heart rate to less than 60 beats per, per minute. And what it means doing 60 or less per minute, it means that the possibility of any cardiovascular accident would be low. So I, I said, look, try to be on shape if you want to have a very brain that is going to orient your heart. Huh? If you want to keep young, you have to have a brain young and you can, you can keep it young if you are in physical fit. Remember, dynamic intelligence, analytical, practical, social, and creative. Okay? And in here, I come to the, uh, this is a book, a book uh, called, uh, written by two Latin people, uh, Garcia and Mirales, uh, they're from Peru. And this is Ikigai. Ikigai is the Japanese secret 
to a long and happy life. This is a book published uh, last year, was first published in Spanish and then have been translated to, do, to English. And, and what it means uh, is, this is the concept, if you want to have a happy and live a happy life and live longer, uh, you have to have passion, you have to understand what is your profession, your vocation, and your mission. Because here in the front is your passion. This is why you are. If you are too passion and professional oriented, hmm, the profession is what you work. Okay? You are that is where you are good at. The vocation is what you would you like to ha be. But not necessarily your vocation is the same what is your profession. This is how and this is how others see you. We say, look, I would like to be a dancer. So everybody will see you that, you that you are not a dancer, but you have the feeling. And this is what others see you. And the vocation and mission is a, what you think the world needs. And what they say, is, look, this is your passion, your mission, where you want to go, what are you doing? This is the most, the more relevant. The four are, but you have to know how they mix. And what they say is this principle. And it says, you have to stay active. And look what it says, I do not retire. If you want to keep a young brain, you have to have a young brain for the rest of your life. You have to be active. Take it slow. Don't fill your stomach. Surround yourself with good friends. Get in shape for your next birthday. Smile, okay? Reconnect with nature. Give thanks. Live in the moment. If you follow your ikigai, if you know how you are, you can have a better life, a better brain, and you will be, then you can become a better leader and a better manager. And this is our principles, our uh, well-being principle is the same uh, what I said before, using both hands, asymmetric resistant training, walking at different velocity, jumping ropes, the dynamic ping pong, dancing, training like a boxer, playing a musical instrument, play chess, playing any mental game, say good morning, please and thank you, meditate, her music of the proper frequency. I am not promising you a change, okay? But if you follow this and you keep doing this and you understand yourself where you are, because for every people it's different. It depends where you are. Huh? You, in few months, you will be doing things better. But I cannot promise you a change. It's you that have promised to promise yourself that you're going to change. And they gave, they told me that uh, I have 45 minutes, but I hope that through this webinar, you have become familiar with the importance of symmetry that was from the first seminar in your brain and your life. Now you have some understanding all of those physical, uh, psychological testing that you can measure symmetry and coordination of your thinking pattern, and you can do it. For me, it, was, it wasn't it was easy. It took me four, 40 years of big research in order to say all what I'm saying today. You have learned, and you have a follow-up, to learn how to enhance your brain, and also that will lead you to develop a better personal and give your personal well-being. And that can become your program. If you want to read most of my purpose papers, because all what I did is written, all what I am saying is written, you can go to this web link, www.researchgate.net. This is free, okay? You get in, 
you sign for it, put your name, then you can look through more than four, 14 million researchers in science, leadership, management, that we put our publications there. As a matter of fact, and then you can do, you can download. You go and put my name. You can download my book, Wellbeing, uh, your unique journal to success, all the papers that we publish in the Human Element of that is the newsletter of the Human Development and Leadership. And if you by any chance already are downloading one of uh, some of my papers, I want to thank you. Because in the last month, I they are saying that the statistic is showing that they are, those papers are, they are reading us about a hundred times every day, and we have crossed the four thousand mark just uh, today. Uh, and I have to thank you are those, but I would like you to to say that it's not only. This webinar is just a motivator to say, in the world, there is a lot of places where you can find uh, things that we are doing, and you can find the research, first order research, what is happening today. Because we write books, but we write, we write books from papers. Okay, and those papers, you can have it in, in ResearchGate. I think that, I have to, if you have any question, uh, I am right on target. I am 30 minutes, 30 seconds fast, according to my watch. Uh, but I have to thank all of you to being with us today in this second part webinar. And that you have got that all of what we are saying, you can measure. And what about now, not only measure for you, from the people around you in your department. Because we have to tailor any development according to the thinking pattern of the people of you, your people, the whole organization. And this is very important because uh, anytime that I see, there, I am not criticizing anybody, or I say, you see many, 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 many conference, uh, many different uh, mo uh, models, but if they don't have a scientific background, uh, you can destroy it. If you have, but when I we talk the word science, I don't know, people is every time studying less science in the world. They think that we are the crazy guys, but science, uh, who you know who in, in, in quality, who was the most scientific of all of us? Dr. Edward Deming. Your profound knowledge system comes from science. Okay, I want to uh, tell you that keeping that, you can have four states, but you have to have to know how to mix, and they don't mix equally. The two in the front is the, the two leading. They have the sixty percent, and the two in the back huh, are the forty percent. That is uh, what gives you the stability. But you need the passion and the knowledge in order to get uh, good results. Any question? I will be open to any question. Ladies, the show is all yours. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Jesus Gilberto. And um, we do have somebody from the audience as well thanking in the meantime. We would like to open for questions. So anybody who might have a question, you can type your questions on the question box that you see uh, on the right side. Um, in the meantime, as we uh, go over questions, I do have a question myself. It was very interesting when you mentioned uh, the bridge between the two hemispheres and the 25% mm -hmm higher percentage in between uh, musicians um, and, and children, basically. So what I, my understanding is that as we grow up, we kind of lose that bridge. And uh, I was interested to know um, how much does it impact the fact that uh, practicing versus practicing what you love? Uh, can you repeat the two last uh, words, practicing and? 
um, I'm, I'm assuming, and this is my assumption here, that uh, it, it must be different between just the fact of practicing a lot to reduce, to increase that, uh, to reduce that bridge versus as a musician, for example, but I would just assume when the musician is doing what he loves, like how much impact practicing what you love would impact on that increasing percentage. <laughs> you remember what it says, uh, it's your passion. It's your I'm passion. into the passion section. So. <laughs> it's your passion. Yes, whatever you do, if you want to improve whatever you do, is that passion. But mm -hmm. it's not only the passion. You have to have the knowledge. It's a combination. And because when you are practicing, like any instrument, you are getting the knowledge. You have to know how to do it. And you have to have the mm -hmm. passion. The same thing goes for a leader and manager. Uh, one is a creative, another is a innovation. But it's the same thing. And, and you see in the Ikigai, uh, it's the same thing. What it says, your passion and your mission. The mission is when you're practicing, you're present. In the passion is uh, what will really take you to the I'm future. I'm just passionate about and have a purpose <laughs> in life. Uh, I, I agree. <laughs> Finding that balance, as you mentioned. And we have um, Luis uh, Gallardo here. Uh, I'm sorry for the pronunciation here. <laughs> I'm also Latin America. But uh, he's asking uh, for a quick way. So how do we reduce the 10,000? And I've heard about the 10,000 hours as well. How can we reduce that so we can become an expert in a way? Is that 10,000 hours just a, a number or what do you think about that? Yes, uh, those 10,000 hours is a system is about, let me tell you, they, in, 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 in USA, they say it's new, but this is very old. This, this comes from a boxer, a Cuban boxer. Uh, his name was uh, Kid Dinamita, yeah. I think. In the early 30s, when he says, if you want to be great, you have to practice at least 10,000 10, hours. That means you have what to practice. boxing here today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait. But I learned also, from, <laughs> let me tell you, I learned from a boxing uh, trainer, okay? He has trained, mm -hmm. and I've been with him with few uh, world champions. Let me tell you, I have, I have analyzed about eight world champions. And I, but I, I don't like boxing because, you know, they, they destroy the, the brain. But let me tell you something. They say, you know, uh, they told me once, doctor, you know what is a, a boxing? I say what? Boxing is the art of punching and defense. And unless you understand that boxing is an art, you are not going to go, you are not going to go anywhere. So from mm -hmm. that, I say, you have to understand all what you do is an art. When you have that in mind, huh? analytical and creative, this is the art of being successful. Otherwise, you will stay the way you are. Many people do a lot of uh, physical exercise and they don't change. And you say, why they don't change? Because they don't understand that they, this is a passion, but you have to have the knowledge. And I gave you a, a questionnaire. If you fill it and send it to me, you have my, uh, here you have my address, email yeah. address. I give you back the results. And from that- And uh, thanks for reminding that. We'll, we'll actually yeah. remind everybody that they can do and from that. that. We from have a couple that, of, yes. From that, it depends if you are horizontal, transversal, the way you are, how we are going to get to the top. For everybody, is a different story. That's what. And we do have uh, coming to that actually, which uh, we have Vikram uh, Manuya asking uh, something like that. When you mention different people, um, basically, what he's feeling that uh, the work environment of the mutual respect is also essential in a workplace. And what's your uh, research findings about yeah, that? Yeah, remember. Which makes good common morning, sense. Good morning. Uh, uh, please, thank you. I don't know if that, that tells you everything. Mm -hmm. Those three words. Good morning, please, and thank you. If you. Um, yes. Go ahead. Luis, espero que te haya contestado. 
Excuse me, I'm saying, Luis, es, eh, espero que te haya contestado. Thank you. <laughs> now, yes, keep going. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm very I curious. Say, I say, Luis, I, I hope that uh, <laughs> you like it. My yes. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree on that. At least it opens the ground for common understanding, that's for sure. Um, I have uh, many thank you notes here from the speakers, from the attendees. I have another question, and I heard this from um, there was a neuroscientist in a leadership class I took at MIT, Dr. Tara Stewart. She talks about uh, exactly the same as you mentioned: uh, see where you stand, and then find that balance. And uh, she has this class mixed with a leadership professor, Deborah Ancona, and they talk about focusing more on the strengths versus um, focusing on too much on uh, improving your weaknesses. And I do tend to improve myself all the time. And what do you think about that? Yes. My uh, oh, yeah. impression yeah. was focus on weaknesses, but then it's so much focus on weaknesses that you don't uh, uh, leverage the strength you have. You have to work in the strengths that you have and then go mm -hmm. to the weakness after. Many people I try think. to work with the weakness. Hey. Remember, uh, in the Ikigai, that is what you are good at. Improve what you are good at, and then keep, keep improving the other things. Everybody's, yeah, you know. And also, that is in the part of the, in the part of the science is uh, when you have uh, a reaction, uh, interactions, and they say, look, mm -hmm. you have to go to the part where there is the more, uh, electrons let's put it in this way because this is the way uh, that will be the way that reaction will go faster there is a couple of people very interested in the research and the book you mentioned as well and um, the question here you mentioned i do want to remember everybody that uh, uh, the presentation will be available after the webinar in the upcoming days uh, very soon it will be on our youtube channel as well as um, on our website and um, if you have stayed more than 40 minutes, you will receive an email from us as well. So if you have any other questions, you can reply on that, or you can reach out to Dr. Jesus Gilberto, as he mentioned, he's very willing to uh, review your profile. <laughs> so um, talking about that, I have um, a question here um, from Dikram again. Ikigai concept and uh, know yourself, basically. Uh, do you see them as the same? If you see different, would you, how can you elaborate that? Oh, what I say is a very similar. They are very similar. When you see the way they, they mix the things and the way that I have been doing this for 40 years, and what I say, look, it's a very similarity. Because remember, mm -hmm. in here, you, it's like a, when you saw the electroencephalogram of the brain. You have to see the whole brain. It's not only one part. And you have to see the whole forest and everything. And he said, look, it's the same thing. And uh, it's not just uh, pushing one point. What I say, look, look, it's, it's talking about the same thing. And uh, what, what is, uh, uh, when I say horizontal or parallel, whatever it is. Uh, and I think that I haven't find anything so similar than what I have been doing also. Uh, what I'm doing is uh, I follow a Damon's principle, okay? And uh, that's what I say. This is the most scientific quality person that I have ever ever, met, ever know because I never met. But uh, we have in this room, in these people, let me tell you, we have two people who that, that knew at least one lady was the last uh, uh, helper for Dr. Edward Deming, that is Marilyn Monda. Um, I want to remind everybody that we do have um, a questionnaire that has only five questions that will allow us to improve our uh, future webinars. Uh, it takes less than a minute, few seconds only. Um, I am posting the link on the chat box. Of course, if you receive um, an email, I might send a reminder, but if you can uh, fill that, uh, as you are now, or a few minutes later, that's uh, much appreciated. I have another question. When would the questionnaire be um, available? As I mentioned, we will share the presentation. You can basically just uh, 
print that slide and fill it out and uh, send it back. Uh, if we don't have any other questions, let me see here. Remember to fill out enjoy the topic. So, yes, to fill the evaluation. To fill the evaluation. Guys, this is Marilyn. Um, I think the question was actually um, Gilberto. Uh, where can they get your questionnaire? Oh, um, they can. Yeah, they ha they have it there. On the presentation, once we process it, they can print, print it, right? Yeah, you can print it on. Uh, or from the website, can they download it? Then send it, send it by email because they have the email. They have my email, and then I get it. Yeah, you have it. The questionnaire is right are you, there. Uh, are you guys seeing the link on the chat for the survey? They have to send it to me. They they won't do it uh, automatically. They have to send it to me. Thank they you, Lisa. Yes, and again, once we send the email, uh, if any questions you are not able to get it or something, just let us know. And uh, in that email you will receive, you can reply back to that. We do have a couple of things that I wanted to mention. Um, first of all, I would like to thank uh, everybody who had the questions. And um, that makes uh, webinars more active and we, we understand what the impact is as well on a personal level. Um, as I mentioned, if you can fill the um, survey, um, it's Few, fewer than uh, 30 seconds, I would say, I feel it myself. Uh, for those who attended 50, 40 minutes or more, you will receive an email, um, maximum tomorrow. You'll be getting the 0.1 uh, continuous educational credit, which you can save that email and uh, either print it or save it as PDF, and then you can uh, upload it on an ASQ when you, you try to show proof for claiming your credit. We'd like to thank our um, speaker tonight, Dr. Jesus uh, Gilberto, very much, for sharing your expertise and research, which is uh, outstanding. And I understand there is a lot more behind it. And all your graphs shows that as well, which uh, some of <laughs> them was kind of, OK, there is too much proof in there. And uh, our organizers tonight who helped us with the webinar, a uh, special thanks to all our participants, members and not. We do want to remember this is not just for members. Of course, we appreciate who wants to be a member can go on our website and um, find out more about the Book of Knowledge and see um, if that will fulfill their uh, membership requirements. And uh, we will be sharing this presentation upcoming days. We're uh, very happy also to show that we already have scheduled the webinar for next month. It will be on February 23rd. It's a, it's a Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern time where um, Ms. Erin uh, Urban will be with us, a professional leadership coach from Houston. We'll be discussing about how to build innovative work environments and how that can benefit um, us on a personal and professional level. Registration is already uh, on our website. You can go on our calendar and uh, register for that. You can also uh, find future uh, webinar notifications to our LinkedIn page, which is always updated with the newest webinars, as well as a newsletter, which you can sign up for it on our website. Uh, there is an About Us section. You can uh, write there if you have any questions for us in the future. Our website, as you saw since the beginning, was asqhdnl.org. And again, thank you for your time, and uh, we hope to see you soon. Have a good night, everybody.